is the outcome is still uncertain and both candidates need to fight for every ballot they can get. That was the message Michelle Obama delivered Thursday in North Carolina. We're going to vote. We're going to vote early. We're going to stand in line. Obama said Trump's claims of the election being rigged are nothing but an attempt to discourage voters from going to the polls. She warned that failing to vote could undermine Clinton's chances of winning, even though she is the more qualified candidate. She has more experience and exposure to the presidency than any candidate in our lifetime. Yes, more than Barack, more than Bill. So she is absolutely ready to be commander in chief on day one. And yes, she happens to be a woman. In her own speech, Clinton repeatedly called the North Carolinians to exercise their right to vote, saying the economy, immigration, marriage equality, the environment, and even education are crucial issues. Affordable college education is at stake. And not only that, relief from student debt that you already have is at stake. So if you believe, as we do, that everyone should be able to afford to go to college and graduate, then you've got to get out and vote in this election. Trump also encouraged supporters to vote. Ignoring the polls that show him trailing his rival, he told voters in Ohio that a new poll by Remington Research shows him four points ahead of Clinton in the Midwestern state. He criticized Clinton's political record and blamed NAFTA, a trade deal signed by former President Bill Clinton in the early 1990s, for job losses in Ohio. Just imagine what they'll do given the chance to once again control the Oval Office. And we've had enough, honestly. I think we've had enough of the Clintons in all fairness. Trump promised the cheering crowds in Toledo, Ohio, to bring back jobs that he said were exported to Mexico during the Clinton presidency. Flaritza Hope, VOA News, Washington.